What's up, heroes? In this episode, we're going to walk through an easy way to double your business without you even trying. And it's going to be based on this concept of building an automated marketing engine. And this is going to be uh, like so profound because it's going to allow you to be able to get business while you're sleeping on the beach in Hawaii. You know, you're just going to have robots working for you in the background, constantly attracting new clients and converting them into paying customers. So I'm going to walk you through that in this video. My name is Jarvis. I'm a peak performance coach and I help people double their business without even trying. Uh, you can click the link in the bio if, uh, if that kind of stuff interests you. So how do you build an automated marketing engine? Well, let's first dissect what is marketing to begin with. And marketing is simply just the process you go through to uh, get someone to know, like, and trust you. It's the way that you attract people into your world to begin with and then build a relationship with them and then eventually convert them into a paying client. Now, there's a big difference between just random marketing and then actually converting people who leads into actual paying clients. Uh, and most people overlook this. And it is the, the way you do that is by building a relationship with someone. And so, People aren't just going to give you money off the street. They'll have to. It takes now with with people getting advertised so much and there's so many scams out there. People all automatically have natural skepticism before they do business with anyone, before they commit to someone, before they pay money for anything. There's such a high barrier of skepticism you have to work through. And so uh, the way you want to do this, the way you properly market is by building a relationship with someone before you start asking them for money. And by far, the best way to do that is through email. So uh, the word list, the list is everyone whose contact information you have in your CRM or, you know, have somewhere in the Excel spreadsheet, everyone whose con uh, name and email address you have, that's considered your list. And what they say is the money is in your list. The more people you have contact information for, that means the more times, the more way pe people you can communicate with on a regular basis so that you can build that relationship so you can so they can start to know like and trust you again you can't just show up one day with a for sale sign and expect someone to buy something from you you want to constantly communicate with them until over time that barrier starts to break down where they feel comfortable giving you money and the best way to communicate with people by far is through email now i know social media and paid ads and all these other kind of fun shiny objects are popping up all over the place and people are saying email is dead. Uh, you know, I don't want to bother people in their email. People get too many emails. Listen, uh, there was a study done by a marketing firm and they took a pizza shop and they said uh, they had they did an e a they call it a B test where they tried two different approaches to see which one get generated the best revenue for the pizza shop. And so the first thing they did was they tried paid ads and social media. And they did a month long campaign uh, and they were trying to drive business into this pizza shop. And so after the first month, they said, OK, sales went up by a little bit. And then they said, OK, now let's take their email list. And all we're going to do is simply send everyone on your list one email a day. So they had a, a little promotion that when people came in, if they gave them their email, they would give them like a little discount on their purchase for that day. And that was how they started getting their email list. And so they took that email list and they sent them an email every single day at 5 p.m. and say, hey, you you feeling hungry? <clears throat> Swing by the pizza shop and grab your pizza, grab your pizza, we'll have it hot and ready for you. They sent that same email every day for 30 days. What they found is that that, that promotion doubled the trap, the foot traffic and the revenue for that pizza shop. They did all these fancy ads and fancy social media promotions and, and, and all the content they were putting out it, versus all they did was send everyone one email every day saying, hey, are you hungry? Swing by for a hot and ready pizza. The email outperformed the fancy ads and social media content by double. The money is in the list. And the best way to communicate with that list is through email. So I'm going to walk you through 
a process of how you're going to get people's emails addresses and then how you're going to communicate with them so that you can build a relationship with them over time until they become a paying client. So what, what they what they say on average, you should make about a dollar. Every person on your email list is worth about between one to five dollars per month. And that depends on your industry. So if you're in an info product space where you're selling info products, you know, it's probably closer to the one dollar range. And what that means is if you have 10,000 people on your email list, on average, you should be generating about ten thousand dollars per month in potential income from uh, p promotions that you could do to that email list. Now, if you're a lawyer where your you know, average revenue per client is much higher, you know, this number is probably around a hundred dollars per month per email on your list. So this depends, but this is just, they, these are just generic averages they throw out. Depending on how many, the size of your list, you should average one to $5 per month per name on your email list. And so this is a way that, uh, that it, the easiest form of a marketing funnel, and it's simply to come up with a lead magnet. Now, lead magnet is just a very simple website, or it could be your homepage, your website, where you will give someone something for free. And in exchange for giving them, giving them that free thing, they will give you their email address. So put your email address in here and download this free thing. That's called a lead magnet. You're attracting in your ideal client and exchanging their email for something that, he, that they want. Now, once you have their email, they go into your CRM, into your database, in, on your list. And when they're on your list, here's where the magic happens. You start to build a relationship with them. Now, um, there's a lot of <clears throat> mysticism over how many times should you email someone? Will, will you start to piss people off if you email them too much? I say you should be emailing them at least one to five times a week. And this is why. First of all, um, people won't get pissed off if you're delivering them value. As long as you're giving them something they want, they actually want to hear from you. And so focus on not just trying to sell people things, but again, you're focusing on how do I build a relationship with people? And as long as you're, you're adding value to their inbox, they will welcome your emails. Number two, you're per what you're trying to do is become top of mind. Top of mind means every time I think of this, the first person I think of is the you. And the way you do that is you have to always, your name has to always show up in their inbox. Even if they don't click on, or open your message, just seeing your name show up in their inbox keeps you top of mind to when the time is right and they need you, they know exactly who to go to. And so every week you'll want to have your name showing up in their inbox and preferably multiple times per week because people are so inundated with message emails these days. People get an average of 100 to 500 emails per day. You won't like if you're only emailing once a month, you're never showing up in their inbox. And so you'll want to, the way you bubble up to the top against all the noise is by frequency. So you want to show up in their inbox as often as possible, just so they keep seeing your name and you get that name recognition to become top of mind. So that's the second step is to constantly communicate with them. And then you'll need some sort of system so that every email you send out, you'll have a call to action. It could be a very soft call to action. Hey, if, if you enjoyed this or hey, if you want a free consultation, click here, set up an appointment. I'd love to spend 30 minutes and got, dive into this deeper with you. Boom. One sentence at the end of every email with a call to action for them to book an appointment with you. This simple three step formula could double your business without you even trying. All it requires is for you to have a way to so, so, so something interesting to say uh, one to three times per, or five times per week to, to your list. <clears throat> so how do you create this lead magnet? Now, a lead magnet, again, is two simple things. It's giving your ideal person something they really want. And in exchange, they will give you their email address. And so uh, first, you'll need to understand who is your ideal client. And then what is something they really want? And so here's an example for really, if you're a real estate agent, your ideal client is someone looking to sell their property. So if I put myself in the eyes of the, of a person that's about to sell their property, they're really anxious. They want to make sure they get the highest value there for their property. Maybe they're trying to buy another home or they're trying to retire, but it's really important for them to get the most 
that they possibly can by going through this process. So if I say, what do they really want? Well, what if I created the top five improvements that you can make to your house that will increase your value by at least $100,000? And by the way, it probably will only take you about $100 to do it. Do you think that would be something they would really want? Hell yeah, they would, right? Like, oh, I want to know these five things that I can do to increase my value by $100,000. Like, gosh, what could I do with an extra $100,000 after I sell my property? So come up, think, this is very important. What is something they really, really want? Not something they're just halfway interested in. Make it irresistible. Like, I need this. The top five mistakes that sellers make that cost them $200,000 of, lo of lost uh, uh, value on their house. Like, come up with something that's so intriguing that they, they're like, I, I have to click this. I have to have this. I have to download this thing. And uh, it can be something really simple, just a, a, a Word document. You don't have to get fancy. It doesn't have to have graphics or anything. A simple Word document with a list of five things and maybe go into detail on each one. You can really make this in like 10, 15 minutes uh, with Google Docs. And that is your lead magnet. And then once you have um, your lead magnet, the next thing you do is, or once you have the lead magnet, you set it up on a web page to collect their email address. And then from there, the next thing is to just start emailing them um, religiously to build a relationship with them. Now. Is there a such thing as too many emails? Uh, pe won't people get annoyed with me? Uh, here's two things. One, if people unsubscribe from your list, good. They weren't your ideal person anyway. Like you have to really sink into this. There will be a, a percentage of people, probably 1% of the people that will unsubscribe every, every time you send an email out. That's okay. They will have never been your client anyway. The people who wouldn't, who unsubscribe would never have been your client to begin with. So it's better for them to show themselves to the exit door. So it's fine. If you piss people off and they leave your list, so what? There are 99% other people that are looking forward to your email because you're delivering value to them. So uh, will people get, will people leave and unsubscribe from your list? Yes. And that is fine. Here, I want to show you an example. This is my uh, loan officer. The, me and my wife just bought a house recently, and this is the, the person that we used to uh, service our loan for the house. I don't know if you can really see this here, but uh, I want you to see the, how often he emails. He emails three to five times per week. Uh, you can see July, like July 6th, July 4th, uh, July 10th, July 9th, July 18th. Like, he always, always emails. He shows up in my inbox multiple times per week. And he was top of mind. He was the first person we thought of when we decided that we wanted to buy a house. Now, here's the thing. I've been on his list for years. And it wasn't until recently that the timing was right that I needed a house. And so by the time I needed it, he was the first person I thought of. He's built a relationship with me over years without me ever reciprocating without me ever calling for anything but that these emails that I got over time over time over time just kept drilling in my head that he was the finance guy until eventually we needed a house and we called him up so is there a such thing as over emailing no there isn't all right so how do you build your system uh, there are many different systems you can use one I recommend is probably the easiest to use is MailChimp MailChimp you can create very simple Landing pages. Landing page is just a website for you to put your free download on. Um, you can create the landing page, and then once people download it, they will automatically go into a list that then you can do automatic emails to send them uh, over time. So I would say Mailchimp would be the best system to use for build for for your database or your CRM system tool, and then uh, you'll need some sort of automatic appointment booking tool. Calendly is really simple. And so all your emails that you send out, you'll send a link you, at the end. You'll say, click here to book an appointment if you want to learn more. Uh, and then they click that link. They'll go to a booking page where it'll have your calendar on there and they can book on your calendar right from there. That's what makes it really simple. So though that's the easiest way. By the way, if you need uh, to go deeper on this, I have a free 
PDF that you can download that outlines this entire process step by step. You should be able to click the link below to get your free PDF of how to build your automatic marketing engine. You see how I just did that? You probably didn't even notice, did you? I just directed you to my lead magnet, right? You're going to get, download this thing, which is going to be very valuable, this thing you really want, and then you'll go on my list. And I'm going to deliver constant value to you over a period of time until you know, like, and trust me enough to want to go deeper with me. That's how this works. And so click the link below, download this report and start building your automatic marketing system so that you can get leads, clients, customers, and money on autopilot. All right. See you guys.